May the Lord richly bless you today. I want to tell wish all of the national and all of the international fellowship members and all brand new visitors that's coming to visit and receiving the message for the first time. I wanted to welcome you today to Jesus is Lord Fellowship Worldwide International, no matter where you are located. I wanted to welcome you in and I wanted to praise God for all the glory for you. I pray that you get involved with our ministry no matter what state you live in. Amen. Whether it's for your daily Bible feed, your Bible reading. Um, you could share what you got out of the Bible readings, what you got out of the the daily ponderings, the daily the daily good mornings of all of uh, Dr. Deanna Brevon's writings of the of the of the uh, devotionals or of today's message of the sermons writings. You know, share with others what the Holy Spirit has revealed to your heart about these messages. Amen. That that we provide for you every day. Share what you get out of the Bible studies, those who are in the Bible studies. Would you like to study? Would you like to get your GPA certification? Amen. With us of Bible studies. Amen. We are in the book of Luke right now, and it's become amazing. Amen. It is amazing. Uh, to my heart, it has not been completely amazing in because of I am in between a... a how do you call that? A renovation within our home, which is soon about to come to an end. Amen. And through the grace of God, all things will work together for its good. Once when we get everything organized and everything all settled, glory to God. Um, uh, a renovation is a big <laughs> mess, even though we're blessed. But we have to praise God for all the glory, for everything that is made brand new. And all of the old is passed away. Amen. That's what we got to keep in our hearts every time when something that we face comes to pass, which has been a regular this past few months. Amen. But that roof looks amazing. Our windows looks amazing through the grace of God. And our flooring is about to be completely amazing. And, and uh, the wood frames and everything on the doors are amazing. But our most amazing grace is our Savior, Jesus Christ. I don't know if I just mentioned this, but I wanted to say happy, wow, happy Father's Day to all fathers. Amen. Happy Father's Day also to all of the military fathers. And I am including women in here because there are plenty of women who raise their children on their own, who are fathers and mothers at the same time. So I wanted to praise God for all the glory, to thank you all, amen, and to wish you all the most blessed, Jesus-filled Father's Day, amen, amen and amen. Children, I pray that you do something special today for those special dads. Children, I pray you do something special today for that special mom who has been all years, throughout these years, a mother and a father. Amen. Let us get deep inside the word. Amen. And let us today pray for every personal prayer need that is within ourselves. Amen. For all of our needs in health and in prosperity, and in the joy of the Lord, let us pray today for every household. Let us pray today for every marriage. That the Lord will continue to bind it together as one. No matter what trials, what tribulations, what angers comes in, in a marriage or in a family or in a household. Let us pray every day that the blood of Jesus will rain down upon that household's. Because there's so much households when pressure comes in of, of repairs or pressures comes in of bills or not enough funds. That's where Satan always comes in to steal, kill, and destroy your hearts. And pressure starts to arise in your homes. So today let us pray for each and every household today. 
Let us pray for each and every senior. Let us pray for everyone who, who today has been retired but don't know what tomorrow will bring. Let us pray for a mighty breakthrough for each and every one. And many retirees who thought, hey, when I retire, I'm going to go hither, I'm going to go thither. But then due to the fact of all of the funds and all the finances and everything else and whatever you have, you only have sufficient for that month that you are living in. And then let us pray, folks. Let us pray. Let us pray for those also who are facing a lot of trials and tribulations and health and healing. Let us pray also for how the Lord is going to supply your needs for that medical costs and that medical billing. Let us pray that you will have gasoline this next days and the days ahead to come and the months ahead to come for, through the grace of God, for you to get out, to go do your therapies. My therapies is at the Y six days a week. Through the grace of God and your pastora is moving more, my legs and my arms more better than ever before due to all of the battles that I've faced in life. Amen. And um, through the grace of God, I belong to one amazing facility. But I wanted to share with you today, let us pray for those let the Holy Spirit overfill your gas tanks. Let the Holy Spirit overfill your brakes and your and, and, and every portion of the car that makes your car run, your vehicle run. I pray over your lift to place that wheelchair. I pray over every function that you need today, this day forward. I pray for all of your family members who does not trust in the Lord their God, especially when rough times comes. Let us pray today. Let us pray for also all of the family members that had furthered. Amen. From, from you for no purpose at all. They just want to live life to its fullest on their own terms, on their own will and on their own ways and go their own separate routes. And we will never understand, only the Lord will understand, of the purpose why they live in that way and why their hearts are in the way how it is. We never would understand, but the Lord does. So let us just continue to keep them in covered in prayer. Amen. Let us just keep them covered in prayer. Let us lift up all of those that have been called as prayer warriors. Let me tell you something, a prayer warrior or anyone in ministry, through the grace of God, always faces trials and tribulations. Why? Because you are a mighty warrior of Christ. Just as Christ has faced a lot of trials moving across this earth while he was here as man, so be it us because we carry his blood. We are over flooded by the blood of the Lamb. Amen? So let us pray today as we listen today within our hearts to, and, and our inner soul man program will open up to the words of today's message so that we may feed freely upon the message and drink from the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, again, let us pray as well for the leadership of Jesus as Lord Fellowship. Uh, in Rosemary State, they are facing already, this is um, monsoon season. So let us pray for Rosemary, for our prayer coordinator, Rosemary. Let us pray for everyone in that area where she lives and all of the areas that surrounding Arizona. Amen. Over to this weather. Let us also pray for everyone in the state of Florida. Because this is through the grace of God, which started last month. It started last month. Let us pray as well for everyone in the state of Florida during this uh, season of the, of the hurricane. Amen. Let us pray for this mighty season because we never know what will come to pass within our daily rain storms and um, what we'll pick up. Amen. Let us pray for each and every one a hedge of protection today. Let us pray for their health and healing today. Amen. 
we welcome all of the national and all the international visitors and members around the globe as you receive the spiritual nutrition of the Lord's Word. May the Lord richly bless you today around the globe. I am Senior Pastora Dr. Diana Brevon of Jesus is Lord Fellowship Worldwide International. Today's sermon is, The Treasure is Closer Than You Think. Amen. The treasure is closer than you think. Amen. And they were all filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues. Amen. And the Spirit gave them utterance. That is Acts chapter 2 verse 4. Please go there, highlight this, also write this down in your notes. Amen. In your memos. There was a... Um, uh, uh, Ravi Zechariah. Ravi Zechariah. I loved him. And a life of integrity. It tells a simple parable that makes an excellent point. Amen. A prosperous man was making a long journey. In his bag, he packed all his valuable jewels and money. A thief started to follow him. Amen. Pretending to be a, a friend and, and waiting for the opportunity to steal the wealthy man's riches. Amen. The rich man, he was aware of the man's motives. And thought of a, a, of a plan each night as he would stop at a, at a local hotel. He would invite the thief to share the room. He would invite that thief to share that room. Once inside, that rich man would say, here's a towel. You go and you wash for the night. While the thief took his shower, the rich man hid all of his treasures. When the thief returned to the room, the rich man would go and, 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 and bathe. He would go and bathe. While away, the thief searched frantically for the riches that he looked in the rich man's luggage. He searched the closet. He searched the drawers underneath the bed and between the mattresses and underneath the rich man's pillow. The treasure could not be found, folks. The treasure could not be found. But at the end of the journey, but at the end of the journey, the rich man, he boarded a train to go home. He called out to the thief. I know why you have been following me. You've been trying to steal all of my treasures. Each night you have looked in my bags. You have searched the closets. You have rummaged through all of my drawers. You've looked under my bed. You've searched between all my mattresses and even under my pillow. The one place that you never looked was under your own pillow. The treasure was closer than you thought. What are the benefits, folks, of, of receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit. What are the benefits? Many think that it's to speak with other tongues. Indeed it is. This is the initial evidence of receiving. This is the initial evidence through the grace of God of, oh, of receiving through the grace of God, the Spirit, that Paul said, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than ye all. If you would like to follow that scripture, folks, please go ahead, underline this in your word, 1 Corinthians 14, 18. However, we look for power, folks. We look for protection, folks. We look for the ability to overcome sin. 
hope for our future, wisdom, spiritual gifts, and progressive changes, folks. Progressive changes. Amen? Amen, amen? In our lives, we look for all of these changes within our lives. And never realizing that the treasure is closer than we think. All these and more can be found and experienced through the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The power is available. Have you plugged into the power source? Have you plugged into the power source? The search begins. What are we looking for? What are we looking for within this power source? Amen. The treasures that we find in baptism of the Holy Spirit. This short list, it does not even include all of the benefits of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The first one on the list is power to witness. Our power to witness. Amen. But ye shall receive. As Acts chapter 1, 8 states. Okay. Let it speak now, folks. But ye shall receive the power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem. And in all of Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost part of this earth. Amen. Please jot this down. I pray that you have your highlighters, your pens, and your markers as you listen to today's message. Amen. Acts chapter 1 8. Before the Holy Spirit, folks, outpouring the disciples were timid and were afraid. At Pentecost, they, they were strong and willing to stand up and, and explain the gospel. Amen. The gospel. The power to go into the rapture. Amen. Power to go into the rapture. This is the next on that list. Amen. This is the next on the list. Let us hear the voice of the Lord right now as we read Romans 8, 11. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by this spirit that dwells inside you, in you. What? Powerful words, folks. Jesus is alive. He is risen, folks. He is risen. And the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will also one day rapture us. It will one day rapture us. Amen. Um, please look into 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 13 to 18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 13 to 18. Please highlight and underline that in your word also besides in your notes. Amen. The next one on the list is the power to be the sons of God. Oh, how amazing is that? We are the sons and daughters of the one true king. Amen. Let us hear the voice of the Lord as we read the word today. Romans chapter 8, 14 speaks, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. That was the next one on the list. The power to be the sons of God. How amazing is that, folks? The Spirit of God leads us, not from some distant throne room or or control center but from within our hearts he is in charge we are his sons indeed amen 
The next one reading is Romans 8, chapter 16 to 17. Amen. The Spirit itself breatheth witnesses with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Romans chapter 8, 16 to 17. Amen. Let us also hear the voice of the Lord as we read Hebrews chapter 1, 2. We have become heirs of our Father's kingdom. Jesus Christ is heir of all things. And we have become joint heirs. Folks, what an amazing time is this to speak this message right on Father's Day about our Father. Our Father who is in heaven. He said to me, now let us read this and let us receive from the living word. Let us hear the voice of our Father as we read Revelations chapter 21. Verses 6 to 8. He said to me, It is done. It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty, I will give to drink without cost from the springs of water of life. He who overcomes will inherit all of this. And I will be his God, and he will be my son. Amen. Revelations chapter 21, verses 6 to 8. The next one on my list is power to pray. Amen. Power to pray. Glory to God. Have you ever experienced, my family in the Lord, have you ever experienced a time when you did not even know what to pray for. Amen. At times the Spirit takes over and prays through us using words that we can't not even comprehend. We do not even know all of the problems coming our way. But the Spirit does. That Spirit Man program does who is within us. And prays through for us. Amen. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. Amen. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Romans 8.26 and he that searches the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Romans 8, 27. Oh, you hear the Holy Spirit right now speaking through us, amen? Through his word. He is interceding for us. He knows the will of God for our lives. And he prays accordingly. God has a plan and is bringing it to pass. The Lord of God is bringing it to pass. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. When we when we are weak, okay? The next one that I wanted to share with you is power to defeat. The power to defeat. So shall they fear the, the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Amen. That's Isaiah 59. Isaiah. Chapter 59. Verses 
chapter 59, verse 19. When we're weak and when we are hopeless, helpless, folks, and the enemy comes, the spirit shall put him to flight and drive him away. God is a deliverer combating on our behalf. The spirit conquers our enemies, folks. Amen. The next one on my list is the power to know. The power to know. Amen. Let us hear the voice of the Lord through John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, folks, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and shall bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. For those of you that I feel right now in my heart, this is the way for you to speak the scripture aloud. But the Comforter, which is the power of the Holy Spirit, who the Father will send in my name, he shall teach me all things and bring all things to my remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. That is John chapter 14, verse 26. Amen. Let's amplify that a bit. Amen. Let us just amplify this a bit here. Amen. But the comforter, John chapter 14, verse 26. Let's read from the amplified version here. But the comforter. The Counselor, the Helper, the Intercessor, the Advocate, the Strengthener, the Standby, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place, to represent me and act on my behalf. He will teach you all things, and He will cause you to recall will remind you folks of bring to your remembrance everything I have told you that is John 14 26 John 14 26 the next one on my list folks it is bring it on teacher I'm ready to learn bring it on teacher I am ready to learn. The next one is the power to refresh. The power to refresh. In the last days, folks, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit. Amen. Which they that believes on him should receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given. Because that Jesus was not yet glorified. Amen. Jesus was not yet glorified. This is John chapter 7, verse 37 to 39, for you to highlight, for you to underline, and for you to write this down in your notes. Amen. Anyone thirsty? Is anyone tired? The baptism of the power of the Holy Spirit provides rest for us and a drink so powerful that you will never thirst again. Amen. Because of Jesus living word. He is alive folks. The word of God is Jesus. His word planted inside us. And Jesus will move fervently within your life. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. How awesome and amazing is this. As you continue to move Jesus every brand new day. Amen. Jesus answered and said unto her. 
whosoever drinketh of this water shall thirst again. But whoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him, they shall never thirst again. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him. It will become a well of water springing up into the everlasting life. The woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Folks, please highlight this in John chapter 4, verses 13 to 15. Amen? By whom he said, this is the rest. Wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. And this is the refreshing. But yet they would not hear. That's Isaiah 28 verse 12. That's a prayer that I would like you to pray over as well. Over somebody very close to your pastora. Amen. Was the scripture. Pray the scripture. Amen. The Holy Spirit knows who, who it is and who they are. But by who he said, this is the rest whereeth, that ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing, but yet they should not, they would not hear the voice of the Lord. Amen. Isaiah 28 verse 12. The power of ownership. Amen. But ye are not in the flesh. But in the power of the Holy Spirit. If so, be that the Spirit of God dwells inside you. Now, if any man has not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. If you do not have the power of the Holy Spirit, the living word inside you, you are none of his. That's Romans chapter 8 verse 9. Oh, but pastora. I was accepted by the Lord and Savior through salvation. Yes, but listen to what the Lord is saying here. I want all of you who does not understand the scripture also, I would like you to deep search the scripture. Go into your study Bible. Listen to our Father of what he has to say about Romans chapter 8 verse 9. Go into your commentaries. See what the Lord is speaking to you about Romans chapter 8 verse 9. Amen. Let us go down into the next scripture, which is Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13, 14. Now let me tell you something. And the living word speaks, in whom ye also trusted. After that, ye heard the word of truth. The gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after ye have believed, ye were sealed. With that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance unto the redemption of the purchased possession. Amen. Unto the praise of his glory. That is Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 to 14. We belong to Jesus Christ, folks. I want you to, to read on your own 2 Timothy 2, 19. He has marked us. With his seal, folks. Which shows that, that we are his people. The Holy Spirit is a deposit. Which guarantees our inheritance. And our redemption. Amen. The Spirit is God's guarantee. The Spirit is God's guarantee. That he will give us everything that he promised. Amen. It's like a seal on a document, folks. That gives validity to the terms of the contract contained within. Amen. Validity to your pastora is, is a tongue-tie word. But through the grace of God, I pray that you understand about the word valid. Salvation and heaven is the possession purchased for us by our Redeemer. Acts chapter 20 verse 28. When I come to this chapter and I read this chapter, I always speak salvation in heaven is the possession purchased for me by our Redeemer. Folks, we have been redeemed 
Ha! We have been redeemed. Hallelujah. Power within is the next one on my list. Power redeemed. Jesus is not only talking here with us, but with living within us. Amen? Some sing it. He's as close as the mention of his name. That's not entirely true here. He's cl closer. He is very closer. He lives within us. Our bodies is his living temple of the Holy Spirit. The living church. Amen. John 14 verse 18 it states. I will not leave you comfortless. He's never going to leave your side comfortless. He will never leave us comfortless. Amen? Colossians chapter 1, verse 27. Amen? It speaks. To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery. Among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you. The hope of glory. Amen. Colossians chapter 1, 27. The next one on our list, folks. It is the power to know the future. The power to know the future. How be it when he is the spirit of truth? Is come. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Folks, he will show you things to come. That is John chapter 16, verse 13. The last one, folks, is I wanted to share with you, which is just a motto from your pastor, Pastora Diana Brevon, from your doc. Amen. From your senior pastor, Dr. Diana Brevon, I wanted to share with you. Lead on the power of the Holy Spirit within you. When you got yucky days or yucky moments, or if you got days of pain and suffering, do not fall back from the glory of God. Amen. Like many of you that I hear from. Lead on the power of the Holy Spirit. We will follow. We have found the treasures. Now, folks, we have found the treasures. In this week's, um, in this week's uh, memo notes that I ask you to follow along of my script every week that I give you, this week I am giving you a few questions. Amen. Of, I am giving you a few questions to follow along to see how well you receive the power of the Holy Spirit today throughout this, uh, this sermon. Amen. The first question I wanted to ask of you. You can write it in or you can go to any of the websites if you want for whatever revelation hits your heart of whatever question and you could you could share and you could comment the answer. Amen. To any of our websites, you are welcome to comment the answer. Amen. But the first question is, what is the lesson to be learned from the parable used in this lesson? What is the lesson to be learned from the parable used in this lesson? The next question is, according to Acts chapter 1, verse 8, we are given power to do what? What power are we given to do? Amen? The next one is an amazing one, and I pray that each and every one who is listening to this message will list these. Amen? List the seven benefits of the baptism, of the power of the Holy Spirit. And provide a scriptural reference for each and every one of your list. Provide the scriptures along with it. Amen. The next one is, 
according to Romans chapter 8, verse 27, who is interceding for us? Who is interceding for us? Let me repeat this question one more time. According to Romans chapter 8, 27, who is interceding for us? Who is praying for us? The next one is, according to Isaiah 59, verse 19, what happens when the enemy comes against us? Yes, folks, answer this question. According to Isaiah 59, verse 19, what happens when the enemy comes against us? I would like, which many of you know, most of my students does know this. When you're answering questions, I pray that you could answer, but also with the Bible reference, with the Word of God as well. Amen. So it will align to what the Lord is leading your heart to share here in the comments. Amen. Within your answers. Amen. Um, at the end, if any of you had copied and printed out the script of today, at the end of it, you have, um, at the end of my script for you today of your notes and memos, um, I have here for you additional notes. You could write down any additional scriptures. You could write down any memos or whatever to go along with today's message. Amen. I wanted to thank each and every one of you. And I wanted to let everyone know. A lot of people get concerned and shocked when I tell them that I am praying for you. Everyone who comes to whatever website, wherever you are, whoever you are, you are a part of this ministry because you are there visiting. You are a part of Facebook. You are a part of, of the brave host, even though you come in to visit and you haven't signed that guest book yet. You are a part of Jesus is Lord Fellowship, of the upper room of prayer. You are a part of the Bible studies room in the Yahoo Fellowship Halls as well, our first, very first online fellowship halls. Amen, which I have split in one building that represents a building, the Yahoo, it represents a building, which is the, the fellowship hall, which is the, the upper prayer room of prayer, which is the Bible studies classroom, where everyone could come in if you cannot, um, if, if Deacon Matthew, uh, through the grace of God, um, you did not see it in the Brave Host or here, you could go there to check, or you would like to update yourself with any of your studies, you could go there and scroll and copy and paste your studies right there. Amen. Over here with Jesus is Lord Fellowship Worldwide International, I care about your life eternal. I care about your spirituality. I care about you. So I want you to pick up the pace. I want you to study, to show yourself approved unto the Lord our God. Many of you are facing trials, so you are a little behind than what we post every week. But I praise God for all the glory when you work hard at it and you catch up. And I believe you can from January to December. Amen. And if you're, we're going into a brand new Bible studies in the, in the month of January, and you are still in last year's Bible studies. Through the grace of God, that's okay. That's okay. As long as you copy and you paste and you file in your online files. I recently was going through with somebody about filing a file system of, of scriptures, of prayer, you know, of, of all of devotions and things and they misunderstood me. They always thought that I meant about printing it out and filing it. But the system I'm talking about is file it where it is safe, where you could go back to it, whether it's one year, two years, three years. You have plenty of file system amazing with Microsoft Online. Amen. But through the grace of God, uh, you could file the Bible studies 
and you could go back to it and you could catch up that way. Or if not, you are more than welcome to go to the Brave Host or to the Yahoo or to anywhere else to try to scroll down and go to that next studies. Within this ministry, you are never behind. Amen. You are right where the Lord is leading you to be. Amen. You are right there where the Lord is leading you to be. But I ask you and I stress to everyone, make sure with whatever I instruct, whatever I teach, focus on those scriptures. Eat those scriptures. Walk those scriptures. Receive those scriptures and pray those scriptures. Amen. Because that's very imperative. And let me tell you something, your Holy Spirit Man program will become more stronger. Folks, it is coming near to the end of the month, so you know what the first week of the month is. Um, next Sunday is the 24th, but the first week of the month, I would like to prepare you now. I would like...